Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so, what Albert Einstein said? One can only understand something unless it can be explained to others. Do you think it's right? Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Science is like a subject, like that subject, right, which can be only explained, which can be only understood which, uh, when we can explain it to others, right? So, we know about 18th century science, 19th century science, 20 and now 21st century science, right? From mechanics to now nanotechnology, we know the modern science, right? In India as well as in the world, right? So, have you ever thought, when did science originate? Not only in the world, but in India. Okay, no problem. Today we will talk about that in India. How science originated in India? How was its journey? So, you know, how many people do this? Okay, most of them like it. So, in the yatra ke umba ningale physicists, chemists, mathematicians, botanists, and zoologists in the perile erikin yaan ningale abisambodana chey Do you like it? So, dear young scientists, in the namla yatra chey nada or imagination ana. Okay. So, you have to imagine. Science is all about imagination, right? Imagine that science is all about imagination. No, no. Then we can go to the journey of imagination. So, how many of you would like to travel through a time machine? One time machine is called Yathra Chain. How many of you would like to travel through a we have a time machine on the kind of technology language and the imagination when you get time machine you got to travel to you today she am a little up a number in the time machine you know day in day day past to lake in the book of ancient in daily can look upon okay I would in the number of Korea but at the science of maths and biology and learn I'm good no kita we will once again meet a great Indian scientist. On the go to number C. V. Raman in a her go in Quran in home is a baby name. And Larry on the third chick under two and allow. I wrote a thank you. But I am going to have a learning in the numbering in a particular no number of kind of phone or mobile. Well, on the way. No. Hey, I wrote a thank you. But I'm going to in the science day. I'll lay. I'll lay. Ah, upon I'm okay. Pretty man is a gratitude and the power on down. All right. So. Now, everyone has an imagination world. Come on, everyone. Now, come on, fasten your seat belts as I'm going to turn on the time machine. You are not the time machine. Okay? We are going to past. Some ancient India, during the time of Vedic period. Okay? Vedic period, imagine. Where are you going? 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 I know in the science day on a number every day imagine to you number every day a Vedic period ancient on a number of February 28th national science day name but I'm on no okay I imagine to you up up are the young in the edit your culture questions to you keep the ticket and I'm a mother I'll you know the kill you have a serum in fact ending first talk on a toy the yeah no are they taking in it so First question is to my dear mathematicians. Ethra bear every day mathematicians under mathematicians, please raise your hands proudly. Simple question, I recu. Okay. Who is the father of mathematics in India? Who is the father of mathematics in India? Mathematics. Say. Is it Ramanujan? Yes, of course. Then who invented zero? 
So, zero ilade in the English ondo mathsil. Zero ilade in logo odo. Yeah, pa Arya father of mathematics in India. Ah, Arya bata na. So Arya bata is the father of mathematics in India, right? Apan namle pa Arya bata de period la vanne ekne. So, ipa mathsila ille. Indne kurcha parniyo na na. Zero de invention ne kurcha parniyo na. Little needs to be written about the mathematical digit zero. Mathematician Aryabhata was the first person to create a symbol for zero, and it was through his efforts that mathematical operations like addition and subtraction started using the digit zero. Upon the Alochoke, is zero or Aryabhata Lanagi in the Sambujane? Eh? Onno Davila, maths about a Onno Davila. Alle number system one to nine kind of very nickel and numbers of very well. At the bowl of Varilla, Alle. So thanks to Aribata. Say yes, thank you to Aribata. Thank you, Aribata. Um, any next, next zero kind of Namaka computer science a particular kind of number systems a particular kind of. Okay. Apo eight to other than number system made up. I mean, like computer science a particular number, number correct number system particular. Alle. Adam, what is it? And if, I have a hint here. How can we write fractions without using P by Q form? Yes, decimals. So, decimal system is in the same way. That's what you think. So, be proud that India has contributed many things to the world. So, decimal system, that's what we have done now. Nampol ini itu samai itu travel itu bandar ikhne. Ah, apa ini samai itu tu decimal system starta ya orang. So India gave the ingenious method of expressing all numbers by means of ten symbols, the decimal system. Each symbol received a positional value as well as an absolute value. Le decimal system, nampol kita bangkit important je lepo, right? So, decimal system is not a computer science system, but it is not a computer system. Binary, right? One thing is, if you say that, if you say that, we will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. So, binary system. If you say binary system, you will not be able to do computer programming. No. Then let me amaze you, binary system was also introduced in India. The binary number system was first described by the Vedic scholar Pingala in his book Chanta Shastra, which is the earliest known Sanskrit treatise on prosody. Even before, millennia before these modern scientists were born. Okay? Any, how many, uh, we are using scale rulers, scale, since your childhood, right? So, do you know who first used them? Have you ever thought who first used them? Ah, I think you have to use them. You have to use them, scale, you have to use them. And then you have to use them, 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 you have to use them. Do you have to use them? Indians, Harappan civilization, you have to use them. Ah, Harappan civilization le, ivory and shellung kondu scale rulers on architect under. And you can see that many architecture, architecture styles in India, there are many bricks which, from which we can see that they have been measured using these scales. Okay. So, my maths madto, madto. Illa, baaki mathematicians or which parne. Maths get to mad to. Parnyo or ke parnyo? Yeah. Ah, mad to. Okay. So, ini naam ke chre biology le ke baam. Botanist and zoologist raise your hands. Let me see. Okay, enough. Thank you. So, ini naan choi ke aam bone question is to my dear botanist and zoologist. Who is known as the father of plastic surgery? Are you aware 
അറിയാട്ടോ ബോട്ടനിസ്റ്റ് സുവോളജിസ്റ്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അറിയാവുന്നവർക്ക് പറയാം ഹൂ ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് ദി ഫാദർ ഓഫ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സർജറി ആരാ പറഞ്ഞേ സുശ്രുത വെരി ഗ്രേറ്റ്ഫുൾ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സർജറി ഒക്കെ ന്യൂ ഇപ്പൊ നടക്കുന്ന കാര്യല്ലേ ആരാ പറഞ്ഞേ ക്യാൻ യു സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഏ ഗുഡ് താങ്ക് യു യെസ് plastic surgery was also done for the first time in india do you know which kind of plastic surgery it was which kind of plastic surgery organam annathe kalathu innathe pole plastic surgery nadathu varunu nu which type of plastic surgery there are many plastic surgery namukku sharirathinte edu bhagathu nadimarukku cheyana kandittille chundilum mookilum kanninte avade faceum alle appo ഹോൾ ബോഡി വരെ ചെയ്യുന്നവരുണ്ട് സോ വിച്ച് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സർജറി വസ് ടൺ എനി വൺ യെസ് നോ വൺ റൈനോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ഹാവ് യു ഹേർഡ് ഓഫ് റൈനോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് നോസ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സർജറി ഡൺ ഓൺ നോസ് സോ റൈനോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് വാസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൺ ബൈ സുശ്രുത ആൻഡ് അഗെയിൻ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ആസ്ക് യു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹോ ഡേ cataract surgery for the first time in india or in the world you can say cataract surgery idak pudiyada le ipo lasik plastic surgery ok ipo pudiyada aitullalle idu nammada vedic period la cheyidondirna appo orthe okay let me give you a hint who is the father of surgery sushrata Sushrita did cataract surgery and plastic surgery for the first time in India. The Sushrita Samhita's most well-known contribution to plastic surgery is the reconstruction of the nose known also as rhinoplasty. Also, the first cataract surgery is said to have been performed by the ancient Indian physician Sushrita way back in 6th century BCE. So, what do you think? എത്ര പേര് ഞെട്ടി അറിയാവുന്നവർ കുറച്ച് പേരുണ്ടാവും അറിയാത്തവർ എത്ര പേരുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അല്ലേ ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ എവിടെയാണ് സ്റ്റിൽ വേർ വി ആർ യെസ് വൈദിക് പീരിയഡ് അപ്പം ടൈം മെഷീൻ ഇമാജിനേഷൻ ആളല്ലേ എല്ലാവരും അല്ലേ ഇനി എൻ്റെ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് വിറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് വെൽ നോൺ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യൻസ് പ്രൗഡ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് you can see it from the slide ayurveda alle ayurveda medicine alle medical field lot of very big contribution of indians inde without ayurveda yes homeopathy and this all came now somewhat recently we can say ayurveda oldest aanu alle so charaka nu parna oru aala to charaka ordered a foundational text charaka samhita Charaka was the first physician to present the concept of digestion. Digestion is not the 10th, 8th, or the 8th, or the 8th, or the 8th class. Think that the concept of digestion, metabolism and immunity was first described by Charaka in his book. Hmm? And see the next point that Charaka's ancient manual on preventive medicine remained the standard work on the subject for two millennia. Two millennia is the same time. How many years are there? Mathematicians? Two millennia? Two thousand years is there. So, two th- until two thousand years, two thousand years is there. Two thousand years is there. We are here in two thousand twenty-two. and see that it remained the standard work on the subject for 2 million years that means today it also it remains a standard work okay so chemist raise your hands chemists okay thank you so nammal chemistry la aadyam padikana endine kurichu atom atom aara aadyam parne say loudly say clearly huh john dalton yes john dalton de theory undalle pashi it is amazing that before john dalton was born centuries ago 
someone named kanad kanad k n k a n a d introduced the theory of atom ipo malayalathil ayalum sanskrit sanskrit il ayal or atathine endennu parney nammal vilikkune what do we call anu right anu it's a sanskrit word or parmanu you can say that so see theory of atom one of the notable scientists of ancient india was kanad who is said to have devised the atomic theory centuries before john dalton was born he speculated the existence of anu or a small indestructible particles much like an atom appo john dalton de idile postulate la aadithe postulate endha nu parayavo chemist alagi atom is the smallest indivisible particle nu venengi namukku parayale so he also said the same atom is atom or anu is indes, indestructible or indivisible but later on using technology we understood that atom can be divisible to electrons neutrons protons like that right see annathe kaalathe diatomic and triatomic molecules nu vare names undu dwayanuka and trayanuka isn't it amazing that before these scientists were born we were known of this right isn't it amazing say yes or no yes, yes thank you so ini ipo nammal evade ullathu vedic period now can we go to some future can we go to future so ancient it ithrayum karyangal undu now we will travel to the future ini aana quiz time and questions okku koodudelu vannathu okay because i know some of you know this so my first question is why do we celebrate national science day why do we celebrate national science day why say okay uh science day is related to what think so national science day is celebrated as scientists for scientists aarkum pariyanille in the science day and we are all young scientists you must know it right okay no problem it's okay national science day is celebrated to commemorate the discovery of raman effect have you all heard of raman effect because of raman effect we got nobel prize for physics in 1930 in 1928 the raman effect was discovered okay so ivide koduthirikkana raman effect inde definition la ichira katti undu nan i will say it simply so when a monochromatic light what do you mean by a monochromatic light what do you mean by a monochromatic light say loudly and clearly single wavelength of course thank you monochromatic light is passed through a transparent sample of a chemical compound oru chemical oru transparent idol oru chemical compound sample kode oru monochromatic light pass ede nya it emerges in other directions we all know that but the interesting thing to note is there it is that this light emerging from the other direction is higher or lower than higher or lower in frequency than the incident light adayidu aa sample like adikkina light le incident avana light adinde frequency nu ondiki koodalo koravu aayittulla frequency il adu other direction like emit cheyam so is it, this is the amazing raman effect okay ini marakkaru theta science day okay what is the reason behind science day now do you know what when someone asks why do we celebrate national science day so cv raman ne meet cheyidile ipo nammalu eh so cv raman he is the recipient of the nobel prize for physics in 1930 it was for the discovery that when light traverses a transparent material some of the light that is deflected changes in wavelength frequency change cheyu nalle njan parne frequency is related to wavelength right so whenever frequency changes wavelength also changes right so this is called raman effect so next question i am going to ask is 
Who is the father of God particle in India? God particle. God particle in India. Or I can give you a hint. A subatomic particle, bosons, B-O-S-O-N-S. Bosons is named after this great scientist. The answer leads to meet this, uh, this scientist. This scientist is going to meet this scientist. Any guesses? Yes or no? No. The answer leads us to Satyendra Nath Bose. He is best known for his 1924 paper in which he derived theoretical physicist Max Planck's law for black body radiation without reference to classical electrodynamics, which resulted in the Bose Einstein system of quantum mechanics. So, behind this paper, there is a history. history Bose wrote his paper. Then he could not publish it in India. He could not publish it in India. So he sent it directly to Einstein. Einstein is sent it to him. Now, India is not important to him. But Einstein did it to him. He considered it important, translated it to German, and published. And Angani Anna, either Satyendra that was came to light and Bose-Einstein system of quantum mechanics came into existence. So next, next scientist we are going to meet is Meghnath Saha. He is noted for Saha ionization equation. Okay? Appa namla etra vere meet te idu? Etra scientist ne meet te idu po? Ancient pote. Ancient pote. Modern scientist three including Meghnath Saha, right? C. V. Raman, Satyendra Nath Bose, and Meghnath Saha. So he is noted for Saha ionization equation. This equation describes the physical and chemical conditions in star. It is widely applied to the interpretation of stellar spectra. Okay, E equation which is the stars and other elements, you know everything is composed of some elements, right? This elements in the ionization state in the state determines the equation which it is. But the sad fact is that he never got Nobel Prize because the Nobel Committee uh, thought that, every time thought that it has a great application but not a discovery. Okay? So now chemist, uh, my question is to you. Who discovered mercurous nitrate? It's a compound, and you might be thinking that why should I ask this stupid question of inventing or discovering a compound, right? Nan endukonda ee compound discover cheyidende potta chodyam choikane nayirikkum. But this answer leads us to one important chemist, one important scientist. Some of you may know him, some of me don't. Some of you don't, okay? Any guesses who discovered mercurous nitri nitrite? Sorry, it's, nit it's not nitrate, it's nitrite. Slide you at the Yes, Prafulla Chandra Ray. Prafulla Chandra Ray. Okay. In a day when Appa Annathe Kalatha, organic chemistry was all a rage. All in a rage. Organic chemistry developed in the organic chemistry. He didn't go behind the trend. Instead, he chose inorganic chemistry. Instead of going behind the trend of organic chemistry, he chose to go behind inorganic chemistry, studying sulfates and nitrites. Okay? So, it is amazing to know that in 1896, he announced a major discovery of a new compound, mercurous nitrite. Mercurous nitrite in the Parnuru compound, a deham discovery. But in the Alusikar Kimi discovery, Kenda itra important solena. Isn't it? Yes. So, 
nobody actually ever tried to discover this compound. Yellow organic and inorganic and dedicated in any other compound are in discovery, you know. But the speciality of this compound is that it is only stable, stable when one knows how to form it. That's the one that can in Ariavana when a matrame, the one that can carry all the one that can carry all the one that can carry stable out to look. Okay, so we should know that Prafulla Chandra Ray discovered. Mercurus nitrite. So, next question is, physicist Larry who is known as the father of Indian nuclear bomb? Nuclear energy is a very important scientist in the period. Say, nuclear. I will give you a hint. Bark. B A R C. Bark. Expand it and you will get the answer. Bark is an institute in Mumbai. It's a research institute in Mumbai. Homi Baba, thank you. Who said that? Give a big round of applause for her. So, next scientist we are going to meet is none other than Homi J. Baba. He is he was behind the India's India's nuclear program. He pioneered the use of thorium to extract uranium from it. Adeham in other chintil thorium uttri under thorium elemental. Pashe in nuclear energy went to the uranium mana. Up India had only a meagre source of uranium. But he said that it was his advice to go behind thorium. Thorium is which kind of element? Is it a metal? Is it a non-metal transition? Which one is only left? So Homi J. Baba was behind this. So he was one of the scientists who were who okay. He was one of the scientists who was behind the nuclear energy program of India. Okay. So next scientist we are going to meet is the answer of this question. Botanist and zoologist will let boyo. Ando, raise your hands, please. Okay, okay, thank you. Who discovered that plants have life? Similarly, like human beings and animals, who discovered that plants have life? Jagadish Chandra Bose. Yes, Jagadish Chandra Bose is the scientist. In, who invented a crescograph, a device for measuring the growth of plants? Another moment to be proud of Indian. A crater on the moon has been named in his honor. Interesting, right? Moon is a crater, no Indian scientist in a parent in the It's a proud. Also, he is well known for his work on the wireless transmission of information using microwave. Wireless communication, wireless communication. He also did before Marconi radio 
inventor of radio. He did. So, but he is noted for in for the invention of crescograph. So, next question to my dear mathematicians: What do we celebrate on December 22, and why? Mathematicians, the term itself is a clue for you. It's your day. December 22 is celebrated as what and why? Mathematicians. Okay, let me say without wasting time that we celebrate National Mathematics Day on December 22 to commemorate the birth anniversary of the man who knew infinity. Who is the man who knew infinity? Ramanujan. We celebrate National Mathematics Day to commemorate the birth anniversary of the genius Srinivas Ramanujan. One of his most treasured findings was his infinite series for pi. This series forms the basis of many algorithms we use today. He also discovered a long list of new ideas to solve many challenging mathematical problems which gave a significant impetus to the development of game theory game theory is recent right isn't it yes so game theory behind this game theory also this great genius was there but the sad thing is that he died at a young age of 32 but he gave a lot and lot of contributions to mathematics and 1729 is known as the ramanujan number It is the sum of the cubes of two numbers. It can be represented. It is the also the smallest number. I think it's the smallest number which can be represented in two ways as the sum of cubes of two numbers. One numbers one way is given here. Given here, sorry. Nine cube. What is nine cube? Nine cube. Seven hundred and twenty-nine. What is ten cube? Thousand, thousand plus seven twenty-nine equals thousand seven hundred and twenty-nine. Can you say that another way? Another way of expressing it as sum of cubes. One cube plus twelve cube. Twelve cube is thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight, and one cube is one. So one thousand seven hundred and twenty-nine is equal to 10 cube plus 9 cube also equal to 1 cube plus 12 cube so next scientist we are going to meet is subramanian chandrashekhar do you know about chandrashekhar limit okay without him we could not have discovered neutron stars supernovas and black holes so most important contribution by chandrashekhar was chandrashekhar limit which explain the maximum mass of a stable whole white dwarf star with this theory chandrashekhar showed that the mass of white dwarf couldn't exceed 1.44 times that of the sun back then it was thought that white dwarf would be the culminating point for all stars so can you give me an example of a white dwarf star example of a white dwarf star nearest to us sun sun is a white dwarf star so before this explanation before this theory it was thought that the white dwarf star is the death stage of a star but is it the death stage of a star no right black holes are there supernova explosions neutron stars there are many stages for different types of stars so his calculation made people understand about supernovas neutron stars and black holes which was identified in 1972 so next scientist is bebel sahni he was an indian paleobotanist that means a botanist who also studied archaeology he studied fossils of uh, plants in indian subcontinent okay he studied plant fossils he also took interest in geology as well as in archaeology 
He founded the Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleo Botany, now known as Sahani Institute of Paleo Sciences at Lucknow in 1946. His major contributions, as I said, is the study of plant fossils in India and in plant evolution. When you Google about him, you will see that he had studied so many, uh, for, he has studied the fossils of coniferous trees. Okay, one of his most famous studies is that study of coniferous, fossils of coniferous trees. Okay, next question is, may I think some of you don't know this question. Um, which award is also known as the Nobel Prize in Computer Science? Nobel Prize in Computer Science. No. So let me go straight to the answer. It is A.M. Turing. It's Turing Award. A.M. Turing Award. So, Raj Reddy, he pioneered the construction of systems for recognizing continuous speech. He was the first Indian to achieve the to win the A.M. Turing Award, a highest honor in computer science for design and construction of large-scale artificial intelligence systems demonstrating the practical importance and potential commercial impact of artificial intelligence technology. Okay, so it's a GK question, which is two GK questions have arrived here. Uh, now when, you, when someone asks you, which is also known as the Nobel Prize in Computer Science, you know the answer, it's A.M. Turing Award. And the one and only Indian scientist who won it is none other than Raj Reddy. So, next scientist is Hargobind Khurana. So, world's first synthetic gene, oligonucleotide, was chemically synthesized for the first time by Hargobind Khurana. He built different RNA chains with the help of enzymes, and using these enzymes, he was able to produce proteins. Okay? So, Next, do you know this person, Vikram Sarabhai? Without him, we would not have ISRO, right? So, he established ISRO. His vision was to harness space technology for national development. He, it is interesting and amazing to know that he worked for a token salary of one rupee in vision of his personal wealth. He worked for only one rupee. He was the in charge of ISRO from 1962. Now, we all know our most of us inspiration, right? Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He was the direct, direct, sorry, director of the project that led to the first satellite launch vehicle, SLV. He was also responsible for developing indigenous guided missiles at DRDO. He was the facilitator of multiple nuclear tests in Pokhran. Uh, okay, let me tell you that if you haven't seen, uh, I will suggest your movie, Parmano. It's a Hindi movie describing about, it's a bio, it's a biopic of the Pokhran incident, this nuclear test in Pokhran. So I advise you to watch this. It's not the exact story, there's, a, there's fictional elements, but you can watch it. So he gave us tent, he contributed to the health sector as well. The legendary scientist, along with cardiologist Soma Raju, developed an effective coronary stent, which is called as Kalam Raju stent. Now, TURLS, when I read about TURLS, the first, uh, they now released, the, now a recent movie released, Rocket Boys, right? It is the story of this TURL, how APJ Abdul Kalam and one of his friend traveled in a cycle, bicycle, with rocket and launched it. So it was in Tumba, Tiruvannandapuram. So Dr. Kalam and his team of rocket engineers in 1963 set up Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, TURLS. So we have met almost 13 modern scientists and some of ancient scientists. From C.V. Raman to Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, we met different scientists. And we must say thank you to all the scientists because without them, we could not have achieved this, okay? 
ഇപ്പൊ ഇവരൊന്നും ഇല്ലായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് ഇത്രയൊക്കെ നമ്മുടെ കയ്യിൽ ഇത്രയൊക്കെ സാധനം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നാലോ കിട്ടിയായിരുന്നേ നമ്മുടെ കയ്യിലുള്ള ഫോൺ നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാം ടെക്നോളജി വെതർ അത് ഏത് ഫീൽഡിലായിക്കോട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ ഇന്ത്യൻ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റും ഓൾസോ വി മസ്റ്റ് എ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ടു ഓൾ ദ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ബിക്കോസ് വിതൗട്ട് ദം ആ ടെക്നോളജി വുഡ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ദിസ് മച്ച് അപ്പോൾ അന്നത്തെ കാലത്ത് വി ട്രാവൽഡ് ന നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ എവിടെയാണ് നിൽക്കണേ ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കാൻ മറന്നു നമ്മൾ വേദിക് പീരീഡിൽ നിന്ന് നമ്മുടെ ടൈം മെഷീനിൽ ട്രാവൽ ചെയ്ത് വന്നതാണ് ഇപ്പം എവിടെയാണ് എ പി ജെ അബ്ദുൽ കലാമിൻ്റെ പീരീഡിൽ അന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ബിഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻറ്റീൻ റൈറ്റ് ഹിറ്റ് പാസ്റ്റ് അവേ ഇൻ ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻറ്റീൻ സോ ഒരു ട്വൻറ്റി ഫിഫ്റ്റീനൊക്കെ പിടിച്ചോ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ആ സമയത്താണ് നിൽക്കുന്നത് അപ്പം നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴാണ് വന്നേ ഏത് ദിവസമാണ് വന്നേ ഏത് ദിവസമാണ് വന്നേ നമ്മൾ ടൈം മെഷീനിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്തത് എപ്പോഴാണ് ഫെബ്രുവരി ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റിൽ നമ്മൾ നമ്മുടെ ജേർണി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്തു ഇന്ത്യയുടെ പാസ്റ്റിലോട്ട് പോയി തിരിച്ച് ഓരോ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റിനെയും ഓരോ ആളെയും മീറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അവരോട് ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് പറഞ്ഞും താങ്ക് യു പറഞ്ഞ് നമ്മൾ തിരിച്ചു വന്നു അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ ഇനി നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ഫെബ്രുവരി ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റിലോട്ട് നമ്മുടെ ഓഡിറ്റോറിയത്തിലോട്ട് തിരിച്ചു പോയാലോ പോവാം അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാവരും ഇമാജിനേഷൻ ഇങ്ങനെ തിരിച്ചു പോരെ ഓക്കെ അപ്പം ഇന്ന് എന്താ ഫെബ്രുവരി ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് നാഷണൽ സയൻസ് ഡേ നമ്മളെ എല്ലാ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റിനെയും കണ്ടു പരിചയം ഒന്നും കൂടി അവരെ ഓർത്തു എന്നിട്ട് നമ്മൾ കുറച്ച് പുതിയ കാര്യങ്ങളും പഴയ കാര്യങ്ങൾ അറിയാവുന്നത് വീണ്ടും വി അഡ്വാൻസ് അഗെയിൻ വി റീഗെയിൻ ഓർ റിമെമ്പേർഡ് ദെ റൈറ്റ് സോ ഇന്ന് സയൻസ് ഡേ ആയിട്ട് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ആസ്ക് യു എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ തീം ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ സയൻസ് ഡേ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ജാനുവരിയിലാണ് ഈ തീം പബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്തത് റിലീസ് ചെയ്തത് Theme of National Science Day 2022. No one. It's okay. It's integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future. And I think all subjects to medical, engineering, technology, artificial intelligence, all science make level of one image of one of a sustainable future like you and the power to go in all the other. He was a science day the theme. ഓക്കെ സോ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് ബി അപ്ഡേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ആരെയും നമ്മൾ മറക്കാൻ പാടില്ല നമ്മൾ എന്താണോ എന്ന് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാവരും നമ്മൾ നമ്മളെല്ലാവരോടും താങ്ക്സ് പറയണം ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ സാധനം ഞാൻ പറയട്ടെ ഞാൻ എപ്പോഴും സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റിനെക്കുറിച്ച് എനിക്കറിയാം ഇവരെക്കുറിച്ച് എന്നാലും ഞാൻ ഇവരെക്കുറിച്ച് വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഐ ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഞാൻ ഓർക്കും അന്നൊന്നും അത്രയും ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കും ഇൻ്റർനെറ്റും ഒന്നും ഇല്ലായിരുന്നു അല്ലെ നമ്മൾ കണ്ണഡിനെ കണ്ടു ആര്യഭട്ടേനെ കണ്ടു സുഷ്രുതേനെ കണ്ടു പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സർജറി വരെ അന്ന് ചെയ്തു കാറ്ററാക് സർജറി വരെ അന്ന് ചെയ്തു അന്ന് ഇത്രയും ബുക്സും ഫെസിലിറ്റീസും ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാണ്ട് അവരതൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു ദെൻ വൈ കാൺട്ട് അസ് വി ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ ഡു ഇറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് സോ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് മൈഡിയ ഫിസിസ്റ്റ് കെമിസ്റ്റ് ബോട്ടനിസ്റ്റ് സോളജിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് മാത്തമാറ്റീഷ്യൻസ് ഗിയർ അപ്പ് ലുക്ക് അറൌണ്ട് യു ദ നേച്ചർ ഇസ് എ ഹോൾ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് സ്റ്റഡി ഫ്രോം ഇറ്റ് സാഹിത്യപരമായിക്കോട്ടെ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ എന്ത് രീതിയിലായിക്കോട്ടെ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് സോ മെനി തിങ്സ് ഫ്രം അ നേച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഓൾവേസ് കീപ്പ് അ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ താങ്ക് യു ഹാവ് എ നൈസ് ഡ